Hello, this is a video about MVVM. On the screen now, there's a quick diagram about the MVC architecture, where, as it says on the screen, the controller manipulates the model, which then updates the view. And the issue people often have with this architecture is you end up putting too much in the controller. So a way we might do that is through creating a new project. So I'm trying to make this project as simple as possible, and it's not actually going to download anything from the internet. It's kind of going to fake the data. Okay. So here we go. We're going to have a view controller, which is going to have a UI table view. Pin that the edges. Okay, that sets up the connection. And we're going to have a view model. I'm going to call it features. which is just going to be a title. So this is going to be fake data. Which would just contain a title, which would be a string. So then we'd have a view controller, which would have the data. Initially, that would be empty. Wherever we've got a table view, we have to register the UI table view cell. And I'll use an easy to remember use identifier, just call it cell. The delegate is going to be the same file. And the data source will be the same file. What we'll do is after we've set up, we'll fetch the data. When we set up that data, we would do a network call. We could use something like element file or similar to do it, but I'm just going to create some data. Okay, so now we need to make this class conform to UI table view data source and delegate. Now to make this a little bit tidier, I can put that in the extension. So the table view delegate, I'll just do nothing because there aren't any required functions within that protocol. Here, I'll say the number of rows in a section. Which is where we use that same view use identifier.
we'll also have to say how many rows we have. Oops, looks like I've made a mistake there. So to say how many rows there are, it's going to be the amount of features that we've got. And this is called Reach Model, not Features Model. So when we run this, I'm expecting it to come up with a UI table view and have two rows in it, which is 0, 0, 0, web host, and 126. So the reason they're called features is it would be features from the data hacks at Vega. So the issue with this is within the solid principles. So the S stands for single responsibility. And the single responsibility of this, well, it's doing multiple things. It's getting the data, it's displaying it, it's putting it in a table view. The reasons to change, well, you did load, it's tied in with the life cycle. Uh, it's basically a not nice way of doing it. So the solution for this is, traditionally, to use MVVM. So with MVVM, we have a slightly more complex picture. Now, part of the issue with this is I'm going to demonstrate to you a architecture which isn't quite MVVM because the bindings here simplified. I just use a closure to link the view with the view model. Doesn't matter too much at this point, but it's something to bear in mind. And it's actually going to work something like this. So we have the reach model, which is owned and updated by the view model. And that's where the closure updates. And then the reach view model is linked with the view controller through the data. And there it's reaches view controller owns the reaches view model. Reaches view, reach view, in this case, it's just one of the views controlled by the view controller. So let's see how that might work. We have the demo here. So I'm going to create a view model. And that view model is going to own the data. So we'll make up a class called reach view model. And we're going to be able to fetch the reaches from it. And we'll have that completion handler. Which will then be called, and it will always be successful in this case. So I'll return some breaches. Now, breaches, surprise, surprise, are going to be these exact breaches. So when we call fetch breaches, it will load the breaches from here. So, how might we do that? Well, we need to access our view model here. So what we'll do is we'll set up a link to the view model with a variable. So then we can call it. Now, there's a completion handler. So that means that when we call fetch, we're going to get given back the data, which will be a result.
And when we get more data, what we'll do is we'll reload our table. That's only going to make sense if our features are from the view model instead of from our class. Now we've got a danger of the retain cycle here, that's out of the scope of this, except we can make sure we would never have it if we were doing a network call by putting self in there, which then makes this an optional, but Xcode helps us out. Now when we load, we should have exactly the same result. So what's happened? We have moved, moved some code around, which might not seem too useful. However, we're calling the network from here. This view model has no data, sorry, it has no UI component, it has nothing from UI kit. So we call the network from here, and the only reason this class would change is because of things coming from the network. Here, from the view controller, we're calling that view model so it does some of the work for us. Now, in the end, this makes for a much easier to test and easier to work with architecture. And this is just a simplified way of doing it and a, a quick demo for a UI table view.